Well, I've always said that Tiger Woods, when he's half as good as he used to be, he's twice as good as anybody else. Um, I wouldn't say that he's half as good or anywhere close to that, uh, the player that he used to be. Uh, but he's still pretty formidable. Uh, Tiger Woods has a lot of things that, uh, well, it just most people just don't have. Tiger Woods between the ears is uh, um, the surest bet in the history of the game. You know, he's almost got a 100% closure rate in major championships, 14 to 15. Uh, he's got upwards of a 90% closure rate in regular tour events. Uh, nobody's ever played golf like Tiger Woods. Nobody's ever handled pressure like Tiger Woods. Nobody's ever won by a wider margin than Tiger Woods. So uh, his appeal is, is broad and, uh, well, uh, and fervent. I didn't think Tiger Woods would come back. I didn't think he would win again. But once this year started progressing and I saw that he was over it, I don't know how he got over it, but once he got over it, um, well, yes, it was inevitable that he was going to win because uh, the game was clearly back. So let's talk a little bit about the Ryder Cup, uh, which begins on Friday uh, over in France. I believe it's outside of Paris. Uh, tell me about the U.S. team and uh, what you think their chances are versus uh, the European team. Strongest team uh, on record uh, for the world rankings. Every single player in the top ten is going to be represented on either side over there. Strongest team for the European side as well. Uh, the U.S. has, uh, well, some young players, some young blood. They're a little bit more passionate, a little bit more engaged, I think, in the Ryder Cup than uh, some of their older contemporaries. Uh, they're the favorites. They're the betting favorites. I don't know why they are. Uh, they shouldn't be, not in my opinion, since the European uh, continental Europe became uh, the, the foe of the U.S. side. Uh, the U.S. has only won twice in Europe. They won in 1981 and they won in 1993. Twice out of nine times. Uh, that's a long time between drinks of water. Uh, Tiger and Phil pose a pretty big dilemma. They've played on seven Ryder Cup teams together. Seven. They've lost six. And they've only eked out a win one time. Now, there is a phenomenon in football. I'm sure you're familiar with it. They say if you have two quarterbacks on a team, you don't have a quarterback. Um, no captain has sufficiently sleuthed out the dilemma of what to do with the alpha males of Tiger and Phil on one team. So there they are. They're on foreign soil. Uh, the rough is going to be really thick. Uh, the U.S. team is nowhere near the drivers of the European side. So mm -hmm. I'd give the edge to the Europeans right now.